we are working on the golf cart today. That's acting real sketchy, my camera. So anyway, we took some uh, uh, two by twos and we're making this frame right here because I don't want it to be real heavy on the top. We're gonna extend the awning out. And the purpose for this is for the back passengers to be able to have coverage over them and it's going to be just as wide as this and come out on both sides and then that way that'll also stop people from jumping up here and hanging on to the back and riding on the back because this is really starting to bend hard and we don't need it to bend any further otherwise it's going to break so we're going to get this up here and then we're going to put a brace coming down to the arm rail here and then probably another one up straight up and down right there the inspector over there checking my work as per usual i got a little ahead of myself right now um the truck i detailed the truck black rims i don't know if i i showed you guys the interior but uh if you guys remember the first video the first walk around there was marks all over the doors the dash was really dirty it's I've gotten it cleaned up really good. Me and Kathleen did that. See the other door? There's no marks on the door anymore. Uh, there's a little bit left on the uh, extended cab doors, but I plan on uh, repainting them sooner or later. The back seat turned out really good. I didn't show it in the first one because of I didn't like it, but the whole interior is nice now. So yeah. But yeah, let's check with the inspector. Uh oh, Daddy. What? There's a drip going down. You mean I gotta run? That's what the drip's called. I don't think we're gonna worry about a drip. Because that's on the back side. That'll end up being squished up against the back. Okay, these rails, there's four rails we're gonna put on here. We've already got the holes already tapped and drilled. Uh, there's two here and then two here for a runner that goes up. And another one that goes up right here and then same thing over there one up there one up there and then this is the underside of the new rear awning we haven't gotten it we're waiting for those to kind of dry a little bit so that we can stick them back on there but we've got this wrapped with a type of pleather and it's got a little fuzzy underneath so it'll help to insulate it a little bit also eventually we'll put led lights on the inside edge of this so it'll actually interact with the white that's underneath here on that uh, but it's it's gonna actually set up right here on this edge and uh, bump up right against this piece here so it'll sit just straight across on top right here almost flush level with that other piece because see it sticks up just a little bit more and then it's gonna stick out a little bit on this side and the other side reason we did that is because we wanted it to be wider slightly wider than or actually the same width as the handrails on both sides so that you're actually fully underneath the rear canopy yeah we probably could have rounded off the ends but this is the way we wanted it to look and it looks really nice once it's up there uh, just got to get these to dry and then we can stick them back on there but it's humid today so I don't know how long it's going to take for these to uh, for these to actually start to dry. Well, they're just barely tacky right now. So maybe maybe another half an hour or so, I might be able to just go ahead and hold them over here and stick them on. All right, there we go. That's with it sitting on top of it. Everything is bolted in. Like I said, we've got the uh, two bolts here. I mean, literally, if I grab this, I can shake the whole cart. And it's strong for front to back. Shakes the whole cart. And that gives extra shade for the people on the rear. Like you now. Like you now. Like I said, see here. The way it sits nice and flush with the top, but then allows for the rain to go through the gutter and off the end. Yes, yeah, so you don't mess up your perfect hair. Uh, 
So yeah, we're gonna get a couple hours in on the Ranger, uh, mainly clean up, still pull in some more wires, and uh, start looking at how we're gonna do this. I have some bag mounts uh, in my box of tricks over here. I'm gonna see what I've got over here and see if I might be able to just fix the bag plates that are on it. So we'll see. Probably do that on the very next episode. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll talk to you next go around. Uh, Dina's almost back with, uh, with lunch or dinner, but there's that. All right, 30 mile an hour, it handled very well. Love the way that top looks on there. It's actually gonna be very, very, very functional for any event that we go to or even just riding around the neighborhood. I know it's the end of summer, but this is gonna come in real handy for next summer. There's so many things we can add to it now. Yes. Gotta love it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. There's more to come. I'm gonna be adding more stuff to the golf cart, more stuff to the truck, more stuff to the uh, Ranger. It's gonna be one thing after another. It's gonna be great. Oh, and we stayed in our camper last night right there at the, at the house. It's, it's like getting away. It's amazing. It's in the driveway and it's still like getting away from the house. Absolutely love it. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and uh, comment. Talk to you guys later.